you're all doing well and welcome to a new video of mine. Today I have a very highly requested video. I think it's probably one of my most requested videos ever. And it's going to be my study routine during the semester for law school or university. If you follow my channel for a while, you know that I already posted one study routine. It was my study routine for exams. Uh, for law school university and I will link it down below if you haven't watched it because that study routine differs a little bit from this one because as I said before this is going to be my study routine during the semester so what do I do on a weekly basis um, to keep up with my work uh, to make sure that I don't have to do everything in the last couple of weeks like the last two weeks or the last week before my exam but i already know some stuff and know the main outlines of uh, my subjects so if you want to know what my study routine is during the semester keep watching <laughs> So after I come home, the first thing that I do is make some coffee and a little study snack for myself. And this is a soy cappuccino and some mango and pineapple because those are my favorite fruits. And after just checking my mail and my blog for a while, first thing that I do is uh, make a planning. Uh, I look through my planner and if I already made one, uh, I'm just going to check what I need to do that day or that week. And if I didn't, I write everything down. As you can see, everything that's done, I mark pink. Now it's time to really start studying and the first thing that I do is do my readings and I always use a marker to mark every important thing because this makes it way easier to revise later. Also in my previous study routine I told you that I usually watch lectures first and then do my readings but for the course that I had at the moment it was better to do my readings first because the book was a bit easier to understand than usually so I didn't need to watch the lectures first. Another tip that I can give you is every time you read something and the text says something about a clause or an article, always mark it immediately in your uh, codex. This will make everything way more clear and you don't have to struggle during your exam finding all of the clauses because you haven't checked them out yet. After I'm mostly done with my reading, it's time to watch a lecture. And I got a couple of questions from you guys how I do it with uh, re-watching lectures. Uh, well, our university uh, gives us permission to watch lectures online. Um, not for all courses, but uh, for this course, this is labor law, we could immediately watch it online. I'm a very visual person so I always like to add some colors or that kind of stuff because it makes me remember things more easily. So what I like to do with my notes is give definitions a certain color or uh, some very important decisions another color or some clauses. It just depends on the course but this makes it way more easily for me to remember because yeah I just remember the color. It's very weird but yeah my brain works like that. Sometimes our lectures also contain certain assignments. So here I'm uh, just making the assignment on my computer. This is very important because this is the best way to understand your subject and to nail your exams. So the last thing that I like to do is make a summary or revise all the courses that I have to do. Um, I try to do this every week, but I have to be honest, a lot of the times I don't have enough time to do this. But it is a great way to really remember uh, and really understand all of the important stuff. And I just use a very pretty notebook that I got from HEMA uh, to revise everything. And another little tip that I can give you is to, uh, when you're revising or making a summary, uh, look at the PowerPoint of the lecture. Our teacher always uploads the PowerPoint to uh, yeah, our school website, so we can just look at it and uh, yeah, kind of see what the most important topics are our professor talked about, and then I emphasize that in my revision as well. I like to end my day with some reading, and then it's time to end my day with just chilling 
Uh, and I love Snapchat. You can definitely follow me on Snapchat if you want to keep up to date with me. My Snapchat username is Lil Nappy Harris. And I also love Instagram. And my Instagram name is LilyLikeCom, just like my YouTube channel. So that's the end of this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I quickly wanted to say that this is my personal study routine. And it may work for you, it may not work for you, um, depending on your study style and how quickly you remember stuff and that kind of thing but uh, yeah for me it definitely works at the moment uh, my general grade is an 8.2 out of 10 which is pretty good if I can say so myself so yeah it definitely works for me and uh, yeah I'm continuing studying like this for my master uh, because yeah I'm almost done with my bachelor this is my last uh, period of exams um, also, if you have this like great study tip that I didn't mention, please let me know in the comments below because you can help me out, but you can help the rest of the law fam out as well because I'm sure everybody would uh, definitely love it if we got a kind of a discussion full with study tips going on in the comments below. So yeah, definitely share your uh, knowledge with us as well. You can also check out the description box because I have the links to all my social media and my Snapchat and that kind of stuff, what camera I use. Uh, what university I go to, whatever. If you want to know something, it's probably in the description box too. Um, and yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, I read all my comments and I try to respond to everything. Also, I quickly wanted to say good luck with your exams or your finals if you have something coming up, like I do. I have three exams and one deadline, so definitely wish me luck. Uh, and the last thing is that I also made a blog post with some extra tips. I'll link it down below, it's on my blog. And uh, yeah, that's everything. So I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Bye.